fun things. Oh, look at this canister. This teapot right here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at him. Who are you? Hendrix Rose Gold? What is Hendrix? Oh, that's heavy. <gasps> look at this little guy. I, it looks like a Kelvin's. It looks like the same as that little hippo. Oh, wow. She just refilled this recently. I haven't seen any of this. Look at the Myrtlewood candle holders. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, I haven't done this for a while. I am about to shop my thrift store, the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Some people may not know, this place is mine. And uh, I haven't done this for a while. So I, have to, I actually have not even had time to shop my own shelves for a while. So this is gonna be really fun for me too. So let's get inside, let's get shop done. Oh, we got some gruesomeness up there on the door. And uh, Goody is still hanging out here at the good stuff getting ready to go enjoy a little sunshine. How you doing? What do you think? You may not recognize these goldfish, but these are the same little goldfish that used to be in here when we first got Goody. And uh, yeah, they're turning into little koi now, but all is well with Goody. So first things first, we need to go get ourselves a lucky cart. All right, we've got a cart and we are ready for action. Oh, we have quite a variety in here. I am gonna really work hard to shop this store the way I would shop any other store. We have now gone to a color system. We always have three colors on sale. It's orange, gray, and blue are the colors this week. I really like this wood. Is that a pumpkin or an apple? Got it listed as a pumpkin on here. It's $24.99 for that. Now, the prices are gonna be a little bit all over the place depending on what it is. Uh, some stuff is owned by vendors here at The Good Stuff. Some things are priced for the nonprofits, collectible items. And so there's quite a variety, but there's lots of things for a dollar too. So it's just a matter of like looking around and finding some cool things like this lobster. He's so adorable. Look at him. There's a little, kind of our little uh, ode to Jimmy Buffett display over here, if you will. Got some Jim Shore. Got some cute parrots on chairs. <laughs> Trespassers will be offered a shot. That's pretty fun. Look at the parrot mug. This front space here now is uh, occupied by our very own Patty and Betsy. And they have lots of fun stuff. Now, the first Friday of every month, I go live and shop these shelves so you can purchase anything uh, from these rooms as I am live. Those are so cute. Look at these little squirrels. The nut and the, oh, those are so cute. I love those. Um, so yeah, so uh, you see something you want to kind of put dibs on. Those items are going to be coming up on the first Friday and it's 5 p.m. Pacific to actually maybe 4 p.m. I don't 4 p.m. worked out really good this time so we may do 4 p.m. I, I, again we did that we did that well as I'm filming this it was just last night and we shopped from up on my stage area uh, but yeah probably four o'clock because that you know makes it a little easier for those east coast people not to be up too late 
See these Whitco owls down here? Oh, look at the one. He's upside down. That is so fun. $30. I feel like that's a good price on these. Some of these can sell for some really, really good money. Patty generally has some really good pricing like this Jack Canfield Native American Carving. Now you may recognize that name. He was the author of the, the Chicken Soup books, right? Now, this is a carving that he did. It is signed 1984. That's a pretty rare find right there. She's got it for $70. Oh, goodness. Look what's right there. Okay, I'm going to res resist that for now. Must resist that for now. I'm really, really bent on getting all of mine put away before I add any more. Let's take a peek over here and see what goodies we can find. Cute little uh, dish towels. Oh, he's fun. Look at him with his little, little, oh, I thought they were googly eyes. They're not, they're not quite googly eyes. Hi. Oh, there's a heart and some kitty glasses. And then if you are into vintage clothing, right here in this room, we have a couple of racks of all vintage clothing. Take a peek over here. We've got cookbooks got a little Marilyn going she just a little she's a little tin sign see if we have 299 on Marilyn you might recognize this rocking chair it used to be in my home and now we're looking for it to have a new home here at the store Some fun things oh Look at this canister. Regal Crown. Made in England. I already forgot. Was it gray, blue, and orange tags? I have to go. I need more signage. We need more signage for those tags. Okay, yes. Blue, gray, and orange are the discounted colors. So we're going to keep an eye out. For things in those colors. We got napkins. And this is sort of a unique video in that you can leave a comment if there is something you're really interested in and I can add that item into my Shopify store for you to purchase. Like goodness see $9.99 for that set is now 75% off. 75% off of that set right there. That's a great deal. In fact, that's such a great deal. I'm going to grab it. You can see these are really pretty cherry wood wine stoppers. And I feel like we are just getting into wine season. So these are a great gift item for somebody. All right. In the cart it goes. Antique mirror. Let's see what's in this case here. I honestly have not looked in these cases for weeks. It has been a crazy, crazy time since I moved. This teapot right here. Oh my goodness. Now it needs a good cleaning. I don't know if you could even scrub that because I don't know if that would take off the paint, but I kind of want to try because it is really adorable. And for $6.99, I think I love it. This case right here is owned by Hudson Vintage. And she has a YouTube channel, of course. You've heard me talk about her many times. And so you can get a preview of things that will be arriving here in Las Vegas by watching her videos. And uh, we love representing her. She has an amazing eye for some pretty fantastic jewelry. And again, these items will be coming up for sale on First Friday as well. We do have a boutique section here. 
We just changed over. All of our pants are now hung like this. And I can tell you it has actually increased the pants sales already. It's fun when little changes make a big difference. We've got lots of really nice clothing, lots of clothing new with tags, all kinds of stuff. Mark Jacobs, it's a little, is the purse here? No, I think it's just the purse dust cover. You've got shoes galore. I think our yellow tags probably are going on sale next month. I think that's the next color coming up if you were waiting on some of these shoes and then some of our uh, our white tag shoes are 50% off so those are already on clearance I absolutely love this guy I have been like I have been looking at him every day because he is so fun it's like a single placemat I guess but great to use as a decor piece he's $2.99 I, I feel like I have to have him because he's so cute okay He's in the cart. Oh, what is this guy? Talking, try me haunted. It does say damaged. Fine. Oh, his little chin thing needs to be fixed. He was $30 on clearance and we have him at $9.99 on clearance, sir. Oh, bad to the bone. He's pretty fun too. Look at him. $3.99. See, we have very, very fair thrift store prices on our thrift store part. For those who aren't familiar, this thrift store is a co-op with four different nonprofits. All the goods you see here are all donated by those nonprofits. And then we do the work to get the items sold and get money into their hands so they don't have to do the work and they get to collect all the, the fundraising funds, so to speak. And with, yeah because not every nonprofit can run its own thrift store. So we kind of came up with this idea. Oh my goodness, we have quite the little Halloween array going. I think all of my employees really like Halloween. So there's a lot of it here. This is actually vintage, this little witch cat brewing, brewing a party. It, uh, it is made in Taiwan, which is what leads me to believe it is vintage. It's a thin ceramic. I think I will leave that for right now. DIP Encore Papal Giftware. How come it says DIP and not RIP? This is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, that's cute. I didn't get any of my uh, little projects made in time for Halloween. And I'm not going, I'm just not, not, I'm, I'm shooting for Christmas. I'm making Christmas ones. But that's super cute. That's super cute. If it doesn't sell, I may, uh, I may end up picking it up and putting it away for next year. Indeed. <gasps> Look at him. Who are you? It says Neiman Marcus, Italy. We do have $69.99. So this is what I was saying. So there are some specialty items like this that we do look up their values because at the end of the day, what we want to do is get the nonprofits as much money as we possibly can. Uh, and this is a donated item. So what'll happen though, is eventually it'll go to 75% off. And then a reseller can come in, snag this, put it online, and make the money if it doesn't sell to a collector in the meantime. All right, let's go through the shelves. This is a piece of like Chinese art glass. It's not super high quality, but it's still probably a 20 to $25 piece of glass. And so for $6, I think I'll put that one in the cart. Oh, that's a really nice cabbage plate. Who makes this one? Old Fair, made in Portugal, and blues, 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 blues are 25% off. So it'd be 25% off of that $10.99. I feel like that's a really good deal. I'm putting that in the cart. We do get some pretty fun things in here. Hendrix Rose Gold. 
What is Hendrix? Oh, that's heavy. I did not expect that to be so heavy. Looks like it had a pretty uh, expensive price tag on it at some point in its life. Oh, there it is. House Plants by Hendrix. Hendrix Greenhouses. Huh, I'm gonna look that up. So I did a quick little look up and this sells for $19 on Amazon. And we have it for eight. It's not quite enough margin except for the fact that it is my store and I can actually store it here and put it in the Shopify shop for somebody to grab if they would like it. These are beautiful glasses with the little pink flowers all around. We do price our glasses and dishes and stuff individually. So this is gray, so this is 50% off. So these are $1.50 a glass now. You stay, you stay there. Really pretty set. Let's see what else we've got here. Squirrel. That's look and see here. Well, that's a pretty red little footed bud vase. For six dollars. It's got a little manufactured defect there, but I still think that's a nice piece. We'll grab that. Like every other store, we have our share of clear glass items. Got some green. Oh, that's that's a pretty piece. Little wall candelabra piece there. It is twenty dollars. It's really vintage. That's a cool piece. I like that. Oh, stay. Here it goes. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, that's got turtles on it. Turtles. For $7.99, it's got turtles on it. I feel like we can find a home for that. We have fall themed in every place you look. We've got some art over here. I do love this saying right here. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. House parts, that's $3.99. I think I will grab that. Poodle puppy, anybody? You're so cute. 2014 Scholastic. You know, I remember being in school and it was like the Scholastic book club things would come out and all I ever wanted was like all the posters. That was my thing. I wanted the posters. Am I alone? Am I the only one? I mean, I loved books too, but the posters were everything. Look at this little vintage jewelry chest. Oh, that's the other, that's one of the other handles. It is missing two handles but one's in there i wonder if the other one is in here that's got a ring holder on the bottom hmm. oh look it's even got its original box that's a shame that it is missing a handle that one is what did i say blue is 25 percent off so that is like like five bucks for that piece right there. Some Ikea stuff. Even our overhead stuff isn't so high that you miss it. It's just above eye level if you are about my height. It might even be eye level if you're tall. We didn't want to go too high. <gasps> Look at this little guy. I, it looks like a Kelvin's. It looks like the same as that little hippo that I recently had. Let's see what it says. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's $3.99. And he is, he is missing some petals on his little flowers or her little flowers 
but she's pretty adorable. I need, I do, I'm going to rescue from my own store, okay? Don't judge me. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. It's really heavy, too. We've got $9.99 on that. Look at this beautiful, I guess it comes with the flowers. That's really, that's really nice. I like it. I will leave that one just because it's so nice with the flowers and I would have a hard time shipping it with the flowers. So I'm going to give somebody a chance to come in and grab it. Ooh, a little ship in a bottle. Look how cute that is for $1.99. Wait. Oh, the wood stand is not part of it. We sell that separately, but he's still $1.99. So the cork, the cork, I know there's a way to get the corks when they do this. You have to kind of like stab them with some, oh, I almost got it. It's almost like one of those games where you gotta, you gotta get the cork, gotta get the cork back to go. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there is a way uh, for $1.99. I'm going to grab that. Now I left the poor little stand with nothing on it. I might have to find him a friend. Actually, Patty will do that. Patty is really good at fixing the place up after a busy day. Let's see what we got. Angel wings. We've got our crafty and office supply section here. Again, you never know what you're going to find. And I donate things too. This actually came out of my office, the Ot Light because I don't use it anymore, but I might need to grab it back because I'm having terrible troubles with ring lights. This is fun. This is a toilet paper holder. I don't know what that is. That is hands holding the toilet paper uh, for $9.99. I think we'll grab that. Dishes, dishes sets. We have a little bit of everything here. <gasps> Look at that little lamp. That's like a root beer colored glass heart. Can't see where the price tag is on that. It's on the bottom. It's $29.99. What a sweet little lamp. Kind of love it. Cooking stuff. Lots of cooking stuff and mugs, of course. And we always have a really nice supply of pet supply items, dog bowls, dog clothing. Look at these cute little Boots and Barkley little jackets. And we're getting into winter weather too, so these are going to be coming up as something people are going to want. Look at him. $3.99. Must have. Love is a four legged word. Wolf. Yeah, we have a whole bin here of of doggy doggy clothing and things. Looks like that came out of that. We'll have to figure that out and get that put back in there. Let's put that back on the shelf more of the Boots and Barclays in here. All different sizes too. And everything from sweaters. Oh, that's that's not for dogs. That's a really cute hat. For $3.99, I think I'm going to grab that. Alright, looks like we have some jewelry boxes down here. Kitty cat. A common collar. What does a common collar do? Pheromone technology. Huh. Wonder if uh, my grand kitty Dozer could uh, benefit from that. Again, this is the back side of the glassware section with more wonderful glassware. <laughs> and then we have some vintage cookware. Look at these. 
from Portugal, Bernarda. So $24.99 on the big frying pan. And then we got a pitcher. Is this the same? Oh, that's got that's got a repaired handle there. Nice pieces. I just looked down and saw these. Show me the coffee mugs. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know what? We are going to grab those. We have our linen section over here. We're being very, very picky about now what we put out in the linens because linens aren't fast sellers. So we try to put things out that we think are going to move fairly quickly and still have like a variety. We want some curtains, some sheets, some towels, all of that, some placemats. And I think we do a pretty good job. There's always something here functional for the people that come in and then are looking for functional items in the linens. We've got all of our kitchen goodies over here. Plastics are over in the corner over here and the small kitchen appliances live over here as well. Always quite a few things here. What are these? 2.4 gigahertz digital FHSS frequency hopping spread spectrum wireless. I have no idea what those are, but they look fancy. And did I mention all of our art? You know, I love to buy art and art was one of the things I wanted to focus on here at the store. And we sell a lot of it, which means we have to redo these walls a lot. Uh, but let me just take a little, little stroll down the art. Now, art is really, really difficult, I will say it, to ship most of it. Uh, the big stuff with the glass and all of that. Um, but I am always willing to sell the smaller pieces and take, if it, if it can be done, take the art out of the, the glass and frames if somebody wants a piece that is able to do that and roll it up in a tube and ship it. But yeah, we have we have a lot of art. So, on the side of the store, all of these cubbies and in these rooms, these are the vendor rooms. These are spaces that can be rented. And then these, like just in an antique mall space, they make their own prices on things. And uh, there's a big variety in here, let me tell you, a big variety. But again, on First Friday, that is when we go through these rooms and do a live sale mini ink blue jar metal lid so it's a little ink it's slag glass that's kind of cool for 350 i think i will pick that up so be sure you are subscribed and keeping an eye on the notifications for when those lives happen uh, we have been doing them on fridays at about 4 p.m. Pacific time, sometimes 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., somewhere in there. Uh, so that's why it's important that you make sure you're getting your notifications. I think I want to pick up these beautiful hand-painted pink vases. Look at these. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vases. They have a little bit of a, what do you call that when it's um, offset? No. It's angled, but there's a word for it that I'm not thinking of right now. Anyway, I love those. I don't know the value, but I feel like somebody's really going to love those. And I want to put them, put them in the niche lady shop. Beautiful Pyrex set. She has, stand by, 125 on that set. I'm going to put it like this so somebody can see the price and not have to potentially chip it. $125 on the three-piece set of Pyrex. $13 on the little scissor holder. It is wood. Oh, look at the starfish. $33 on the starfish. 
Oh, little bird, little birdie on a leaf. He has $8 for the little birdie on a leaf. I think he's just a, a decor. I guess you could, you could hang him. He could be hangable. These are really interesting. Look at these. Oh, that was just the bottom. They are anthropology. And I was just going to say they have a very anthropology look to them. I like those. It is $40 for the set, which I think is a really good price. Oh, look at the blue knot. Oh, it's a blue knot for $29. So set your sights, set your sights. Or like I said, if you see something beforehand, leave a comment. I'm gonna monitor the comments on this video and I can get stuff put into the nicheladyshop.com. The tricky part is, uh, coordinating because if it sells in the store uh, then it has to come out of the shop so just keep that in mind if you ask for something watch for it to go up and go snag it I just spotted this little fake flower bouquet it's only $9.99 it's in a little milk bottle I love it we have a very angry looking pig right there some shoes. This looks like a Fenton blue opalescent shoe. It is 20. Some glassware. I'm encouraging all of the vendors to get these booths stocked up by first Friday because that is when we will be in here and you will have just the opportunity to buy things directly off the shelves. That's a really nice little part of Bulgaria. $12 seems like a really good price on that. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to grab that. See what else we have up here. Oh, the sea turtles. It's probably a good thing I don't collect the sea turtles too because I really wouldn't have room for my collection. And we have more goodies in this room. This case always has some amazing art pottery in it. Look at that blue vase. <gasps> I wish I had a spot for it. Do I have a spot for it? Ah, see, makes me want to go home and see if I can find a spot for it because I love that. You know, I decorate in the blues. That is that is my choice. Look at the trees. Look at the the winter, spring, fall. It's $40 for that beautiful tree bowl. Oh, look at these wood candle holders. They are $22 each. There's four, there's five different ones in there. Those are pretty spectacular. A marquetry. Oh, wow. She just refilled this recently. I haven't seen any of this. Look at the myrtle wood candle holders. Those are 25. <gasps> Oh, really, really nice stuff. And more coffee mugs. I think these coffee mugs end up getting a little overlooked in this room. I'm going to have to think about something else for these coffee mugs. And then we have the one-way vintage space here. They also have a YouTube channel. They're based out of California, and she makes trips over here to reload the cases. It's time, too, because her stuff has been selling. Look at these beautiful Murano Summer Sew pieces. This one is $38. That's a fantastic price. And this larger one is $90, and that's actually a fantastic price on that piece. It might even glow. That one might even glow. Cookie jars. Always some fun shelves of goodness on Julie's shelves. Small stuff, big stuff. She makes these. She makes these little pins and puts them in these little shakers. Look at the, oh my gosh. Look at the gnome on the mushroom. Gnomes on the mushroom. You are $18. You are $18 of fabulousness. I'm going to put you in the niche lady shop. This is pretty sweet. Look at the little penguin 
figurine. He is 12. Did I show up here? I think I did. Did I show down here? I think I did. Oh, look at the Portugal rooster. Oh, an olive dish. He's an olive dish. He is $29. Another really great case, and I just realized that light bulb should be on. So we're going to have to figure out why that light bulb is not on. 25 for this gorgeous Amberina glass bowl. I think I'm going to grab that one and put it in the shop. Take a peek at this shoe as well. That one is $12. That's a spectacular price on that. This dealer really loves to sell things and prices them to sell. Oh, you might recognize I just sold a set of those. Coaster. Oh, it's each one is $5.50 on the little coasters. Oh, I like the lion. Look at this little cut glass toothpick. It's very sharp, very cut. It's not American Brilliant. It would be a lot thicker if it was American Brilliant, but it's beautiful nonetheless for $10. Oh, look at this face. Oh, let's look at you. $16.50? So it came from some kind of a home goods, maybe? I love this. I think I need this one, too. I got another cabinet of goodies in here. $22.50 on that basket. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So many cute things. Oh, I like these coin dot looking glasses. I have my handful. I'm ha going to have to come back and look at the prices. We've got some alabaster fruit for $7. Great price. Oh, look at all these little spice jars. Oh, these are great. $7 each and a little milk glass spice jars. But look how many there are. Three, six, nine. There's 11 of them there. Oh, she's got mugs over here, too. Lots of mugs in this room. There's always some treasures on this dealer's shelves. Take a peek. Oh, I love that ice bucket. Oh, I love the tray underneath. <gasps> That tr oh, it's the ice bucket and the tray for $125. I love that. I don't even have a bar anymore. I had to sell my bar. It had to go bye-bye. Got some fun pieces here at 50% off. All the dealers decide on their own sales. Oh, we don't uh, have anything to do with that. We do encourage them to price things well to sell. I'm going to look at those salt and peppers right there. $10. And they're 50% off. I think I'm just going to give her the $10 on them though. All right, let's look out here. Oh my gosh, so much Halloween stuff. I like, I like that one. That one's kind of cute. I actually kind of like this one too. Kind of whimsical, little pumpkin head. They're only $12.99, those guys goodness. Good prices. But I do have a cart full. I have a cart full of goodies. $15.99 on the fish. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of things selling from this display when we do our first Friday. Because there is some fun stuff. We'll look over here. Dusty's stuff. Oh, look at this little bird right here. Yes, $15, but 25% off. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the bird. Let's see what else we got down here. I love these. There's three of them. Oh, I wish there was more. Three of those little napkin rings. Oh, look at the pelicans. 
see when their beaks are folded like that, I, that one I bought the other day is a pelican. Like that just, that just confirms it. He's only $6.99. I'm gonna grab him too. And we'll just peek through here. That's a cool teapot. Reminds me of the, the one that I saw at the antique mall. $60. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. And then we will take a peek over here. Cute little blue dish. This vendor gets the greatest things. She is the Swedish thrifter LV. And a lot of her things come directly from Sweden. Uh, look at this, Mats Jonasson. Look how beautiful that paperweight is. Stunningly gorgeous. Costa Boda. She's got one of these little guys. I thought, oh, this is another one because we sold two. We sold two of these for her on one of the lives. I remember that. And she's got some turtles tempting me. Tempting turtles. Awesome, awesome stuff. We have Picker Road's room, which I will have you go look at their videos to see what's going on with their room. And then of course the amazing Thrifting Vegas has a room here as well. So be sure you're subscribed to them. And then this case belongs to Rosie the Riveter, who's one of my moderators. You probably see her in my lives quite a bit. She gets some beautiful, beautiful pieces. Oh, I see a turtle, another turtle. More turtles, stop tempting me, just stop tempting me. Uh, but we again will be selling many of these items on First Friday. We have our baggy wall over here. Oh, we got little signs now. Household, crafting, and kitchen. <gasps> hey, those are cornhole bean bags. I might need those. <laughs> I haven't got my cornhole game painted yet, the one that I bought a few videos ago, uh, but it is on the list of things to do. Now, if you were with me on Friday night of this week, you would have seen how we're doing our little shop the shelves thing. This is my stage and we were up here having a good old time on Friday night. Sold quite a few things, so it's time for me to restock. But uh, we'll do this again too. Probably in a few weeks, I will shop the shelves up here again. And Noah has agreed to be my cameraman. I think he actually had a lot of fun with it. So that's exciting. And I love stuffing the cubbies full of goodies. This is also where you'll find our Christmas section. So up here in the corner now, as we get closer to Christmas, obviously this is going to come down to the main floor. But for now, we always have a selection of Christmas items. They're just tucked back here in a little corner for everybody who likes Christmas all year long. And this is what I like to call my little ocean area up here. I still, I love that. That piece may end up coming home. I'm debating still. It's mine, so I can do it. <laughs> I've already invested in it. And that piece too is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Of course, lots of glass. Lots of glass. We sold a lot of glass. Uh, last night as I'm filming this it was last night and uh, that was super fun it's all being carefully shipped out as we speak and Patty's making it all pretty up here for me she does an amazing job I have to remember I have to get this black light thing going I need to put it on my list I gotta put it on I gotta put it on my list that's all. It's it. It's got to go on my whiteboard so I remember to do it. Yes, it's get shop done. That's what we do around here. All right. Now, the moment some of you have all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. We still have our toy section. Uh, we have toys here. 
And we have toys here, toys and games. Those still very much part of the store. I didn't show that. But this is the moment you've all been waiting for. For those who remember what this office used to look like, behold the organization. Those two boxes are going home with me. That's why they're on the ground. But we have got our shelves in place here. We have a desk system out in the middle. Uh, we have all of this happening over here. That's my desk over there. And then we've got our things to go on eBay here. And we are rocking and rolling. These are all of our current Shopify items. And we only need one shelf because we rotate them. They don't stay here very long. They're literally only in the Shopify store for about two weeks. And then we rotate them out. They either are going to go on eBay, out on the floor, or something other than in here. So that's it. We have caught up at the good stuff. Uh, it is definitely a fun, crazy business, and uh, I will be doing more videos. I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> and again, please join me on Friday evenings. It won't be every Friday, but it's for sure the first and the third Fridays, and then who knows where I'll pop up in between that. First and third Fridays will be Shop the Shelves here at the store, and I'll still keep doing my other fun stuff in between. All right, everyone. With that, everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. Yeah.